Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and from today onwards we are going to start new video series in biochemistry where we will try to complete various topics of biochemistry in just 3 minutes. So today's topic is hypoglycemia. So first definition of hypoglycemia. So we all know that normal blood glucose level is 70 to 100 milligram per deciliter and if the blood glucose level falls below 50 milligram per deciliter then it is termed as a hypoglycemia and this hypoglycemia is more dangerous as compared to the hyperglycemia because RBC and brain cells need continuous supply of glucose for their proper functioning. Now what are the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia? So hypoglycemia can lead to anxiety, palpitation, headache, sweating, tremors, slurred speech and if it is not treated then it can lead to the coma and death. Now what are the causes of hypoglycemia? So the most common cause of hypoglycemia is over administration of insulin in the patients of diabetes mellitus. Second cause is insulinoma. Insulinoma is nothing but it is a tumor of beta cells of pancreas where there is a over secretion of insulin. Third cause is Van Gogh disease. Van Gogh disease is a type 1 glycogen storage disease. Fourth cause is under secretion of various hyperglycemic hormones like glucagon, pituitary hormones and thyroid hormones. Then another cause is defective beta oxidation of fatty acids. Defective beta oxidation of fatty acids results in a decreased synthesis of acetyl-CoA which is a way which is a activator of pyruvate carboxylase enzyme and pyruvate carboxylase enzyme is the key gluconeogenic enzyme. So there will be the decreased gluconeogenesis and the last cause is liver failure due to various poisons and alcohol. Now what is the treatment of hypoglycemia? So the treatment of hypoglycemia is immediate correction of blood glucose level by oral administration of glucose or by IV fluids and the correction of underlying cause. So this is all about hypoglycemia. Thank you.